Hey folks, guns, gear, and on-target training out here in Oregon. Today we're going to be talking about the Archon Type B 9mm striker fired pistol. Right out of the box, you'll notice uh, several things that are different from your typical polymer frame handgun. The first is very noticeable along the top. You have a cutout in the frame and serrations along the front. Uh, the front. Well, that is done for a very specific reason. That is done so that you can press check up here along the front. And a lot of people really like that. Also reduces a little bit of weight in the slide. And then you've got serrations on the back. That's pretty typical. But this cutout in the front, I think is a pretty cool design. I mean, it's really, like someone thought about this stuff. It has the setup here with a fiber optic, red fiber optic sight. I really like that. It draws my eyes at you know, almost six decades, right to the front sight, black rear sights. The sights can be swapped out with Glock sights because it has the rear, uh, the dovetail basically that allows uh, the same thing as Glock sights. So if you have Glock sights that you've used before and you want to put them on this gun, uh, night sights perhaps, uh, you can certainly do that. For the intent of the gun, for me, a more of a range gun and a trainer, these sights are great. The other thing you'll notice here, when you first look at it, is there's, there's what appears to be these small boxes. Well, these little squares are actually shaped in different ways depending on what part of the frame that they're on. This is designed, allegedly, to help mitigate some of the recoil and give you a better grip on the gun when your hands are sweaty. Pretty cool. They also have, of course, serrations up or, or the small uh, same type of, of squares up toward the front. So a good place to index your finger when it's not on the trigger. Um, and the other thing you notice is a very large trigger guard right up here, which means that you can shoot the gun with gloves, even large, large gloves, and get your finger through that. Huh, that's pretty well thought out. You'll note a very, very high beaver tail. And this very interesting piece right in here that is designed that as the gun recoils and pushes back into your hand, it's driving into that tendon, which then forces your thumb and your hand to grip again. So it's a pretty cool design feature. And shooting the gun, I can say it's a very, very soft shooter and a very, very flat shooting gun. Well, why is that? The unlike the browning design where the barrel tilts up this gun as you notice here the barrel does not tilt up as i retract the slide why is that well it's using the archon firearms what they call their speed lock cam and that cam so typically when you see a, a glock or mnp you'll note the barrel goes up this barrel does not go up during recoil and that's because of that cam and the way in which this is designed. So you combine the speed lock technology, lower bore axis, and then design of the frame. And what you have is a very, very, very flat shooting gun. What that allows me to do as I'm firing and I'm going through a firing sequence, it allows me to come right back onto the front sight because the muzzle is not moving up as much it's the slide is, is more or less reciprocating. And because of my physical handicap with my left hand and arm, that makes a difference. And it's a noticeable and appreciable uh, difference for sure for me. The frame itself is made from uh, billet and it's, so it's got this metal frame or chassis, depending on what you want to say. But I, I would say metal frame um, surrounded by this polymer. That the frame can be swapped out there is nothing to swap it out with at this point, but my guess is um, Arsenal will do some different designs uh, and allow you to then swap out the frame um, with the internals here. One of the things you notice right away when you field strip the gun is those rails run almost the length of the, the frame itself. So a significant distance all the way back. And what that means is you're getting less of the flex as the slide recoils, which ultimately means potentially greater accuracy and more consistency in that slide movement. So good, good, you know, really good design. 
One of the things that I notice when shooting, it's a different trigger. It's a very different trigger than most people. Um, it's still striker fired, right? And it's still, it's a striker fired gun. But let's take a look at the trigger here because I think it's in, in, important. I, I call it sort of a two and a half stage. So we, the first stage here, I'm sorry, the first half stage, it's not a full stage, is it's releasing the uh, safety, uh, trigger safety, right? So that's that little teeny bit right there. After that, I get into the take up, which is this first full stage, which gets to here. And then as I continue to press, now this is what's interesting. It doesn't break right away. I'm still, I hit the wall, but I'm still taking up additional slack and then it breaks. Reset isn't very long. So half a stage here, first full stage there. I, there's a distinct wall, no doubt. But then the wall is more, 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 more break. So it, it's a good trigger. It's not a 1911 trigger though. So if anybody's thinking, oh, well, I heard the trigger's great. The, the, the trigger's good. It's, it's just different. And that to me ultimately is your level of proficiency based on the training that you do and the practice you do with the, with the gun. Uh, if you shoot a lot of different handguns like I do, one of the things that I run into is not really mastering any of them to the degree that I probably could if I just exclusively dedicated myself to it. Probably the ones that I'm closest to is either the M&P pistols, because I've shot so many tens of thousands of rounds, or the Glock pistols. I know both those really, really well. This will take some, some getting used to. And again, it's, it's, it's a soft press, don't get me wrong. It's just the length of time after that wall before the sear is engaged that is just different. And it's not a 1911 trigger, guys. I wish it were, because if it were, it felt like a 1911, I'd just be gaga, you know, and I'm pretty gaga right now, but I would be over the, over the hills happy with this. We also have rails on the front. Sorry, forgot to mention that. So if you want to put your light laser, whatever it is on that, you can do that easy enough. It's all ready to go. I also found that this fit great in my Glock 21 G code holster that I've had for I don't know, 10 years or something. Um, and other people have told me it fits in various uh, Glock holsters, depending on the holster, how tight it is, how uh, much of a mold is exactly like it. But the, the G code uh, holster, I, it, again, fits the Glock 21 greats, fits, fits this great. And that's what I ran when I was uh, doing drills from the holster yesterday. In shooting the gun, I felt it was accurate, it was reliable. I put about 350 or so rounds through it. I had two stoppages. Both of them were my reloads, primer not being in all the way. Okay, <laughs> quality issue in, in my reloading. Uh, but everything else we shot was 100%. And we shot some hotter ammunition on the plus P side. We also shot just some standard 115 grain, 124, 147 grain. My reloads are also very soft at 147 loads uh, grain. So um, all of the ammo, it ate. And it ate great. Very, very reliable. Bottom line, I think this is a really uh, impressive pistol. It's not inexpensive. We're talking about 850 750 to 850. Um, but if you're thinking about buying a Glock, for example, and you're going to put new sights on it and you're going to do some additional cutting and you might, you know, swap out the trigger, you're at a very similar price point. And again, I'm not, I love Glocks. I own several. I'm not saying you, you have to go this way. I'm just saying, you know, it's almost an out of the box semi custom gun the way it is with its features and the fact that it just shoots so flat and so well and is so reliable. All of those things make it, um, uh, I think, a, a very, very intriguing pistol. Well, guys, that's the look at the Archon Type B 9mm polymer-ish <laughs> pistol. I certainly appreciate all of you watching. Finally and always, stay safe.